So right now, today, I'm most concerned about the depth of the nasolabial folds, the depth of the creases here. And also, there are two ways that you can treat that. One is in actually injecting them directly. And two is in lifting the cheeks up a little bit so that they stretch up. And that's called sort of a liquid facelift, um, if you've heard that terminology before. And that's what people generally mean. Um, the first product that I'm going to show you guys today is called Radius. Um, Radius is a calcium phosphate um, mineral ma matrix. And so it's found naturally in the body. Calcium phosphate is what uh, makes up bone. And so we use that to, uh, or I like to use it to cause a very strong foundation. Now, one of the, my favorite things to do is actually I have a different technique when it comes to um, treating. Uh, the nasolabial folds and using filler agents. And what I like to do is I like to use a cannula, and that's different than a needle tip. So the nice thing about a cannula is that it's actually not a needle, it's dull. I can't really penetrate my skin with this. It's very blunt. You make an entry point with a traditional needle, and then you use a surgical approach to dissect, similar to a dissecting tool, to get to where you want, and then we inject the product in. And so this is a really neat way to decrease bruising, but it is also a safer technique. And so you can already see correction of the folds, and you can already start to see lift in the cheek area. So we've reset the nasal base, we've improved the gel area, and we haven't even finished our syringe yet. It's also then very easy to layer, um, and this is a hot product now out on the market called Voluma, and this has what they call a higher G prime, which means that it boosts the cheek up more. Some people want excessive cheeks, but most people might not. And so you can use a little bit of the product to give you a good amount of cheek. So the next part we're gonna look at is doing a botulinum toxin. So this is Dysport. And what I like about Dysport is that it actually diffuses. So some people worry that that means it's gonna drop your brow. But if you put it in a smaller amount, you rely on the diffusion properties to get a more natural and even result. These needles that I use are actually from Japan. They're pretty amazing. They're a 32 gauge, which means that they're even smaller than an insulin syringe that a diabetic might use. And that makes them relatively painless. And that's it. Let me clean you off. You look great, and in three days, you're gonna look amazing.